What's up everyone, to 5 dude back on your screen. Now in this video we'll be taking a look at when men stop simping for women part 267. So starting off today we have a woman who broke down after her husband found out that the three kids she birthed are not biologically his. I don't know about you guys but I personally don't feel bad for her. Moving on, we have a married woman who cheated on her husband for a man who appeared to be richer than her husband. Now, this woman is 100% a gold digger and yeah, if you ever come across this woman, avoid her. She will literally drain your bank account and then leave you with nothing. Well, I'm not. I'm married. You're so, married? Yeah. So you're married for real, you're just saying? No, I'm married. Oh shit, so you for real or are you really no, married? I'm married. But you can forget him, you can be with me. I'm married, I'm happily married, I love my husband. You like to have fun? I, who don't like to have fun? I mean, we could go out to eat, you know what I mean? We could probably set that up. All right, all right, without your husband too. Okay. She belongs to the streets. You drink? You said you do drink. I drink. I got a pet house, I actually live downtown. Oh yeah? What, mm -hmm. Like where at downtown? Like by U of H. Okay. Yeah. All right, so we how about go. this? Let's go get a drink. Okay. And then go back to my crib. You got hookah at your house? I got hookah. I All feel. right. So we gonna go to my house then what? It's cool. I don't feel no serial killer vibes. It's sad though. The fact that you would even consider going back to another man house. Mm -hmm. Like, that's crazy. But I need to tell you that your husband should be ashamed of you. You can go ahead and get out of my car. Got him. We fucking got him. You on YouTube, so say hi to YouTube. Moving on, we have a woman who wanted to surprise her boyfriend and let's just say it did not really go the way she wanted it to. Moving on, we have a guy who asked a random woman what her ideal men would be. This clip simply goes to show that women have way too much expectations nowadays and yeah, it's just not doable. Ideal age in a man? Like 20 to 23. Okay, any. Minimum height? Six foot. I have no chance. Okay, minimum income? Let's say like 100k. At 20 years old? I don't know. But you have a 0.29% chance of finding <laughs> your ideal man. 0.29%? I can beat those odds. Next up, we have a woman who went on a podcast and talked about her experience in the pee industry. Now, if you are a woman and you are thinking about entering this industry, then yeah, think about it really good before actually doing so. I like, I like OF a lot. Um, I enjoy posting myself. It's fun. I like talking to fans, but um, I am stepping back from doing... Uh, yeah. Did, so what what shifted? What changed? Over the past few months, I've gotten, I've become really unhappy uh, and regretting certain decisions that I've made. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like regretting just like making that kind of content or like just... Um, there's like, there's so many different factors. The first one is my parents. My parents, it took a while for them to be proud of me. They, I don't think they like what I do. And that's like hard, not being able to talk to them. I, yeah, it makes sense. I can yeah. see, I personally wouldn't want my child to get in, into work. Yeah. I've been blessed. I haven't had too many bad experiences working with other people, but I think that's a rarity. I think a lot of girls in the industry do have bad experiences. And so that's why I wouldn't want my child to become yeah. involved with it. I have sex in my free life, but like in, like in my like actual 
day-to-day -day life or anything. Really? Like with normal people, no. Any sex no. that I have is on camera. And it's not that much. Like people, it's weird because the internet thinks that I'm like crazy and I'm out like fuck everyone, but I really don't have sex that often at all. Yeah, unless you're you're uh, at this performing. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And I don't, that's the thing. I don't want it to be like that anymore. Because yeah. I think I lost track of like sex is special and I want to be able to experience that again. Yeah, the intimacy in it mm -hmm. and not yeah. just like the performance of it. Yeah, just being bombarded, the bigger and bigger I get, the more hate I receive. And that's like really gets to me and has yeah. been really getting to me the past few months. And also I think I've just become, I've become really desensitized to sex. Moving on, we have a girl who got angry and ended up slapping a man in his face. Now, what she did not expect was for the guy to hit her back. She really thought that she could get away with it, but yeah, she instantly regretted it. <laughs> Have you ever thought about being a home? I have. I think about that all the time. Why? Because I consider myself a very wholesome person. But I think that's not working out for me. So I should just be home. You want to be a home? Should I? What do you think? I mean, why not? Because, like, this is not working out for me. So I, sh I, I think yes. Yes. You want to be a home? Yes. She belongs to the street. Moving on, we have a man who cheated on his wife and after he got caught, he started crying and begging on social media. It's honestly really simple. You simply shouldn't have cheated on her and yeah, this would have never happened. Can you talk to me? Like, please. Why are you shutting me out? This is our family. This is our life. And you're doing it over text message? Please talk to me. Please, you're ruining our family. I'm trying my hardest to make us work and be good again. Please talk to me, please. Are you more flattered or annoyed when a man approaches you? Annoyed. <laughs> annoyed. <laughs> uh, it depends. Like if they're coming up to me to, I don't know, say something nice and I'm gonna be flattered. But if they're coming up to me and saying like, rude things and just like flirting really awkwardly then i'm gonna be annoyed it's situational yeah depends i think so <laughs> annoyed um, i'm definitely annoyed. annoyed why is that because they don't know how to approach people yeah would you say that the majority of men who approach you cat call or are respectful oh god i mean it's a mix of both. Yeah, I just honestly. got cat called like five minutes ago, so it's like a good mix of both. All right, this was it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed today's video, then make sure you smash that like button. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, I'm out. Peace. All right, this was it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed today's video, then make sure you smash that like button. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, I'm out. Peace.